everybody, and welcome to another episode of Survival with Star Streak. And in this episode, I'm going to do something, again, something having nothing to do with this castle, but part of cleaning everything up. I want to move my animals. And I've picked out a spot right over there to build a barn. Now, in the meantime, uh, on the way there, at least... I want to show you guys what I've been working on in between episodes. I did this huge section of wall, which if you complain about it being one flat wall, big giant wall of one color, it's going to change at some point. After I have everything done, I'm going to go around and do at least a segment of it on camera and just make everything a little bit less perfect because that looks kind of boring you know um, I also did this section of wall over here right over here and I've also been lighting up um, up top oh. so I think that's really nice anyway oh gosh what happened to my frame right there um, Another thing to notice, and you might have already noticed, um, the grass looks a little different, the windows look a little different. I um, installed Optifine on my computer so that I can get things running a little bit faster. And without further ado, let's get building. So I did a little bit of testing in a creative world just to get a feel of what I'm doing and this is where we're starting right like this and we're gonna build all of these up five blocks in total And then these ones on the outside are going to be three blocks total. And then, let's see, I'm going to build up the walls. Oh, I think I actually, it's not five here, it's six in total. Anyway. We're going to build up the walls here now, and we're going to leave big openings right here and on the other side. So we just go around like this, and then that and real quick I I don't remember if this is this is not how it goes in fact um, but this is the way that it goes and I'm just gonna do that real quick I also cleared out a bunch of this um, land here in preparation for this video um, yeah, I think I also filled in a pond that was somewhere around here and did a little bit of landscaping um, just in this area just so that I can get right into building this barn and then hopefully no not hopefully definitely I will be moving all of our animals over into this barn at the end because this is going to be their home. Oh, I need to go back around and do this. Same thing on the other side. I'm also going to need some 
thing, some other things, like lanterns, which I think I ran out of when building the castle, which from all the way back here, I think it looks amazing. And here we are with the basic structure, and I am going to put in all of our fences and gates for our different animals. And then something that I thought looked nice was I did this on both sides, which I think I'm going to do first on this side. Yeah, so I think that, oh, first of all, I think I went a little bit overkill with the crafting fences, but that's okay. I'm going to use them for other things in the future. Um, next, I'm going to come around and build up a foundation. Which is just going to be this for now. But then I'm going to come back with some other little blocks and things and make it a little bit more a little bit better looking I think and then this can be like that and I think that looks good already um, I am going to do this and put something like that to make a little hole and then maybe we do another stair like that to make it look like there's a little chunk missing. And then we're going to do something similar on this side, but with a different pattern. Just really close to the same thing, but um, different combination of blocks. That. And I think that looks good. And then we're going to go around to all of the other sides and do the same thing. Um, like this and make it look a little bit less, a little bit more um, broken down, but it's still got that structure to it. And I'm going to do the same little trick here that I did before with the upside down stair. And then do this and this and then maybe one of these. Right like that. So it's just looking all good. And I might Peel all of this back some just to make it a little bit more inviting. I think I'm going to do something like that and then this. And then maybe this part has kind of fallen away like that. And the extra bits are down over there. And then over here. We've got another section, which I'm going to go like that, and then like that, and one of these, and then do that, and that, like that. And then we do another section, and I'm thinking maybe this goes up a little bit higher. It's a little bit more intact. And I 
gonna need some more stairs. Now, something that I have taken a huge liking to is the stone cutter because it gets you a lot more bang for your buck. You get to make a lot more, especially stairs, um, with the same amount of resources. Now I'm gonna um, sleep real quick. I hope you guys are liking how everything's looking. Because, I mean, I actually took a while to figure out how to install um, Optify on my computer. And already, I think it's looking great from all the way back here. And I'm just going to do these last ones real quick. And then get to the roof, because that's pretty much all that's left after this. And I think that's good. And then here. go like that. Okay. Then from here, actually, this can't be there because of the way that things work. Um, but er other, other than that, everything's ready to go here. So I, I'm going to plop, plop down a crafting table right in the middle here and make some stairs and a bunch of slabs for the roof. And the way that I built all of this stuff, I guess I made it a little bit, maybe a little bit too easy to get up on top, but that's okay. So now we're going to do the roof, which also is going to be made of oak possibly a controversial decision. Or not oak, it's not oak, it's spruce. It's possibly a controversial decision, but whether it is or not, eh, doesn't matter much to me, because it's my building, and what, do you, what are you going to do about it, right? Um... Of course, if you guys think it it looks dumb, let me know, because I would love to hear all of your opinions down in the comments below. That was the wrong block. I think I might have scrolled a little bit. I'm a little bit too excited, <laughs> I guess. Um, go. And I'm going to do this really quick. If I can remember how I did it. Of course, I'm going to need craft more stairs, but that's okay. And then we go right like this, over like that, and we go with these right like that to get the front of our build. I guess I should have grabbed 
um, brought my crafting table up with me. That's okay. Um, I can pick it up now. I can still get up there. And this is some a big land formation that I might want to just peel back a bunch, like at least to this cliff side. of this and make hopefully enough stairs. I'm just going to do this, make another stack in a bit, but I'm still going to need some of these um, regular spruce planks or other parts. Actually, I'm not sure, but I still want to have some spruce planks. And then here we go. We'll go straight across. lot more of these guys to put down first. I'm going to do a little trick. Well, do a little thing. Just so that I don't have to later. sneaking this whole time, but I guess it's good to be safe, and then we can go up like this, and one more to do the slabs. Of course, we do still need to do the other side. This whole other half, that is. Oh, there I go. Down onto the floor, ground, whatever you want to call it. Eh. I have found, I'm feeling like I should probably get feather falling on these boots at some point. I need to break this down a little bit because that stair needs to be placed the right way. And then I can go all the way across with these. Huh. See there I turned up my, my render distance, so I never realized that there are there's a regular forest that close by. Huh. I guess I'm getting really good at falling. Yeah. Anyway, let's get this roof part capped off. I don't need that back. I need to save resources in some way or another. don't need any more spruce logs, so I could convert all of that back into whatever you call it, the planks. Well, not back into planks, but into planks. I think this has come along real nicely, and of course, it is not done yet. <laughs> it, it's not gonna. It's gonna take another bit. 
for this to be done. I guess I should do this, just like I did on the other si side. Oh goodness, hiccups. And I'm going to need more slabs, so. Do this, maybe, and get this all taken care of. I'm doing, and I'm, I know I'm doing things in a bit of a different order. And I also know that it's dark in there. I have plans. I have plain. I have plain. I have a plane, yes. Of course, doesn't ever, doesn't everyone? <laughs> anyway, back to what I was doing. No, also no, I'm not Russian. <laughs> this is just me screwing around with voices, like I, which is something that I just do occasionally. I just. Slip into a different voice. I just... The one you guys hear the most often is, I guess, the one that I'm most comfortable with. It's my comfortable voice. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh boy, it's night. Let's see if I can get this finished quick. stairs again. Which shouldn't need many more. Um, by the way guys, the day that this video uploads is the same, is the release date of the new Animal Crossing game which I will be playing as much as possible. I need a little bit more. Just a little bit. It's like two more. There we go. Um, now it's time to head back. And cower in, feel, cower in fear, because why not, I guess, because I don't have much reason to. Then I'm going to need to make some lanterns, and I'll be pretty much there. I might still have some, but I think I'm fresh out. I'll, s I'll take a look. Hopefully, I've got an idea for something. For, like to make barn doors at least like partial barn doors this guy looks real sad you know he looks like he could use a break maybe I don't know um I want to grab some trap doors and try something out um and probably some regular doors. And then past that, I really did not need to grab this much cobblestone. But I could put all of this stuff back. I'm actually gonna do that. Um, and then do I have miscellaneous blocks? No lanterns, it looks like. I have some glowstone, but that's not very helpful. Um, I'm going to grab just some iron and all of our nuggets, all of our iron nuggets, and make, let's see, more iron nuggets and a bunch. Oh, give me a second. 
I need to run and grab some torches from the slime project, which is what I'm calling it, because um, I've got I crafted up a bunch of torches. I don't know why I left them in there, but I did. Oh, also, in between episodes, I had a butt ton of coal ore, so I collected it all with my Fortune 3 pickaxe. And we're going to make, I guess, 33 lanterns. I'm going to put these away. Okay, and I need to put these away. And let's get some lighting down. And then I'm going to figure out the... I guess I could go a little bit slower. I don't have to be running at ev ev I don't have to be running everywhere and rushing everything. I want my bow because I see a creeper in there. Let's see if I can snipe him. Long range snipe. I've been getting really good with a bow actually. At least in as far as I've been able to tell. Oh, there's a skeleton. Uh, uh, that's not a skeleton, that's a spider. There's a spider too. And let's get him taken care of and taken out. And we're going to put a lantern here. And a lantern here. And then I'm going to do one right here. One up here. And one here. Maybe we do it, do a hanging one, like that. And then we do lanterns on these. And I think that's good on lighting. So, from there, now I need to move in all my animals. And then I can clean up that whole area from all the animal stuff. And hopefully at some point, I can get the rest of that stuff moved. Of course, the bees are going to stay for a while because um, I'm, I'm going to eventually want to automate the bees, which is going to take some effort. Now, I just need a little bit of this, and I'm going to everything away like a good boy um, and clean up my inventory a bit because I'm done building for now except for trapdoors and such I have a lot of spruce slabs I should have grabbed some in here from in here before I went and did that. Um, I'm going to grab half a stack of logs and bring that with me in case I need more doors and trap doors. Anyway, I am going to break these guys free and hold out my wheat for them and lure them into their new home. What do you guys think of that? A new home that's better than just a pen out in the middle of a field? I think that I would be excited to have a new, a whole new place to live. So I think you guys are getting a good treatment here. I also think that I did a great job with these paths, which I need to extend out this way. And I'm thinking um, for around here, we use path blocks and like and the like. Oh, 
I think I lost a few cows. So once I get these guys in, which hopefully they'll cooperate. We've got four. And I think I see three up here. I thought I spotted one. Yeah, I see one out there. Which I might not, I might care about. I don't know if I do right now. Hello, cow. There's two more of your brothers. Hello, sirs. Okay. Here we go. Let's follow me. Down to your new home. Single file. I wish these... I ca Sometimes I wish that these guys acted like llamas, which is something I haven't actually used. I've just seen in videos. Um, and that they kind of traveled in a line, in a whole caravan. And rather than following the lead, they follow the one in front of them. Let's see if I can get these last two cows in, which I'm having some troubles getting it in, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. And here we are. And let's get the gate placed down. And there we go. And I'm going to get this out of my offhand. So that I can go get the sheeps. The sheeps. Okay. I have been recording for plenty long enough. Um, but I want to complete the idea. Oh, I missed one. Um, you know what? You can die. I will end your misery. And something that I um, had troubles with when I was moving the villagers over was the villagers falling into this pen. So at one point, I ended up digging out, I guess, a moat. Not, not really a moat, but like a, an area so that the villagers couldn't get into the sheep pen. But now I don't have to worry about that because the sheep are going to be in their own little spot. In a whole barn just for them. Which, like, I could totally make a lot bigger and a lot more true to real life. But, like, I don't think I need to do that. And I love, one thing that I love about how this whole area is working out is that the villagers, they go on their own schedule and they make this whole place seem a lot, feel at least, a lot more lived in. Let's see if I can... These guys in. Oh, there's another one. And there's an, another two. And there's only two more. And they're in. The sheep are a lot more cooperative, which was really nice. And as it turns to night, I want to figure 